rehabilitation nursing center for them and let your holy word go forth and let it bring forth life. Um, for the word, um, just want to say, but sisters, that uh, man, my heart is overwhelmed with how you all have worshiped freely and praised God from last month when we was here to this month, showing us a lot of growth, a lot of growth. You know, you are free. You're not in bondage. You're not captive any longer. Thank you, uh, Lord. Amen. Lord does have a word for you today uh, that he has not forgotten that you he remember. The word comes out of the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. And the word says, he gave me this last night and this morning, so bear with me, you all. Amen? Uh, write, write this letter to the angel of the church of Ephesus. This is the message from the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, the one who walks among the seven gold lampstands. I know all the things you do. I have seen your hard work and your patient endurance. I know you don't tolerate evil people. You have exact, examined the claims of those who say they are apostles but are not. You have discovered they are liars. You have patiently suffered for me without quitting. But I have this complaint against you. You don't love me or each other as you did at first. Look how far you have fallen. Turn back to me and do the works you did at first. If you don't repent, I will come and remove your lampstand from its place among the churches. But this is in your favor. You hate the deeds of the manipulation, just as I do. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To everyone who is victorious, I will give fruit from the tree of life in paradise of God. Amen. 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 In the scriptures, verses 1, 2, and 3, Jesus is commending the church at Ephesus. He's speaking to them as his friends. He shows his kindness to them. He is confident in them, and he expresses the fact to the church of Ephesus that he is genuinely happy to inform them that he is looking at them with the stamp of approval. Amen. He is very well pleased with their hard work. Amen. How are you going to he loves that they are being patient. He loves that they are resisting sin and that they have critically examined those who call themselves apostles but are not their lives. Mm -hmm. Lastly, the church has suffered patiently without quitting. Lastly, he sees that they have worked so hard to hold on to their faith in him, Christ Jesus. Lastly, he sees that they have kept the faith. Yes. Have you kept the faith? Have you kept the faith? Have you kept the faith? What about you? Lastly, he sees they have fought the good fight. Have you fought the good fight? Amen. Have you fought the good fight? Amen. What about you? Have you fought the good fight? Yes. Lastly, he sees that they have finished the race. Yes. Have wow. you finished the race? Wow. Have you finished the race? Have you finished the race? How are you finishing the race? How are you fighting the fight? How are you keeping the faith? Amen. Lastly, he sees that they have worked so hard to hold on to their faith in him, Christ Jesus, without quitting. It's easy, so easy to give up. It's too easy. Way too easy to give up. It's so easy to throw in the towel. It's easy to not suffer any longer anymore for anything. At any given moment, at any given time, we can go in the town, we can make a, a decision right here, right now, today, to not long suffer anymore. But because of your love for Christ, which is patient and kind, because love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude, love does not demand its own way, love is not irritable, and love keeps no record of being wrong. That's right. Love does not rejoice about injustice, but love rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. Love is always hopeful. 
Yes. Love endures through every circumstance. That's right. The Bible says three things will last forever, and that's faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. That's right. Let your love let love be your highest goal. God is love. Yes. And some of you haven't done that. Wow. Some of you haven't thrown in the towel. Some of you have not quit. Some of you have not given up on God. Some of you are still long-suffering. But some of you are not long-suffering. Some of you are wondering and asking yourself in doubt. And a place of doubt is a dangerous place to be. Doubting yourself. Doubting what God has put in you. And doubting what God has called you to do. But some of you have given up. Mm. Some of you have thrown in the towel.